long your journey to the grave. When you stop and try to say, Are you walking and talking to the Lord? When you lend a help to some poor sinner man, Are you walking and talking to the Lord? Are you walking? Are you talking?
day that we could come to you with a short devotion again today on the Word of God. And before we get into the Word of God, I just want to say we appreciate each one that watches our video uh, every week and uh, the comments that you make. And, and we're praying that something that is said through the songs of Zion that we sing and the Word of God helps you along a life uh, pathway and encourages you and helps you to get a have a deeper walk with God. And if you feel free to make a comment uh, when you uh, listen to our videos would give us uh, uh, some insight to uh, if you're really enjoying it or not. Uh, so we appreciate each one of you uh, for listening to our video. But today we're looking into the book of Genesis chapter 28. Genesis 28. And we're reading from verse 11 down to verse 16. He says, And he lightened upon a certain place and tarried there all night. Because the sun was set, and he took off the stones of that place, and put them for his pillows, and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, the ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God ascended and descended on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the, uh, the land of Whereon thou liest uh, to thee will I give it and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth uh, be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and I will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken of thee of. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you again today for this great privilege that you have given us to bring forth the word of God. And we pray, Lord, today as your word goes forth, Lord, that it will touch the hearts of people today. Lord, that it will draw those that have already been born again uh, closer to thee. Give them a little bit more strength, Lord, and give them a little more courage uh, to be able to continue to walk on with thee. But, Lord, today we pray for those that are outside of the ark of safety, uh, that, Lord, that they will come to know you. They will experience uh, the touch of the Spirit of God, and they will call upon your name. I ask now that you will take your servant, hide him behind the cross, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want to minister for a little while today on a fresh awakening. I believe that today the Lord wants to awaken the church. And when I say the church, I'm talking about God's people. I believe today God is drawing his people back to a, a relationship with him, to a fresh awakening, amen, so that we, our spirits, uh, we as the children of God, our spirits uh, would be awakened again and that we might see uh, the great things of God uh, that God wants to perform among his people. I believe today. We look here at Jacob. Jacob came upon a certain place and the sun was sitting and he took the stones of that place and made it a pillow for his head to rest upon. But the word of God says that when he fell asleep he had a dream and there was a ladder that reached from earth to heaven and the angel of God descended and ascended from on that ladder and all of a sudden Jacob awakened and he realized that God was in that place. I believe today that the church needs to awaken and believe and realize that God is in the midst of his people. Jesus Christ is still walking with us. He, he's still talking with us. He's still taking us through. And if we will only allow him uh, to take us on a new, a new journey, uh, on a journey that will take us uh, in a deeper walk with him, uh, into his presence, that we might enjoy uh, the, this fellowship uh, that we have with him. In Psalm chapter 17 and verse 15 says this, As for me, the psalmist said, As for me, I will be old. 
the face and thy face in righteousness. Amen. Or in other words, he's not going to look on to him. I believe that's what God wants us to have a fresh awakening that we might look to him again, look to his son Jesus Christ, and to believe upon him and to put our faith and our trust in him. Hallelujah. He said, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe if we can only have that fresh awakening, uh, we will be like him. Uh, and people will know that we have had an encounter with Jesus Christ. That we are walking with him. And I believe today uh, he is calling the church back. I might say that a few times uh, uh, today, but I believe it today that, that, that Jesus Christ uh, is calling his church. We're living in the closing days of time and Jesus is building his church and the word of God says that, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. So this first awakening is not for the sinner, it's not for the backslider it's for the church, the children of God those that whose names are written on the Lamb's book of life in Isaiah 51 and 9 says this, he said awake, awake put on strength, amen Isaiah was rewarding the people again. He said, awake, awake, put on strength, O harm of the Lord. We are the, we are the Lord's arms. We are reaching out today to others uh, that they might know, amen, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, awake, awake, put on strength, O harm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days, in the generation of old, heart thou not hit, that as caught Rahab, have wounded a dragon. Art thou not him which has uh, dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that has made the depths uh, of the sea a way for the, re uh, the re re uh, ransom to pass over? Therefore the redeemed, amen, how the, how the Lord shall return, amen, hallelujah. In other words, let's get where we need to be. And come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. There they uh, shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Let's get this a fresh awakening. Let's open up our eyes again. Let's allow him to take the blinders off, uh, to move, remove the scales from our eyes uh, and see that God is still working uh, in the midst of his people. God is still doing work. He's still building his church. Amen. Hallelujah. In Psalms of Solomon chapter 4 and verse 16 says this. I like this verse. He said, Awake, O north wind. Amen. Awake, O north wind. Come down south. Blow upon my garden. Personal. I need that fresh awakening. I don't know if anybody else that's listening to this today needs a fresh awakening. But I need God to send the, the north wind, the south wind, and blow upon my garden. Amen? Praise God. And the reason why is that the spices thereof may flow. Amen? What we have in our life with Jesus Christ might blow out from us or might come out from us uh, that others may know that we have been with Jesus. And let my beloved come on to his garden and he is pleasant fruits. Amen. Hallelujah. This is where we are. We need today. Amen. Hallelujah. If there's ever a day that we live today, we need this fresh awakening. It's today. We need to get back to where God heals and what God is doing. In, in Psalm chapter, 60, uh, chapter 6 and verse 20 says this. He said, My son, keep that and thou father. Keep the, thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, when thou goest, it shall lead thee. And where thou, thou uh, sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou awaken, it shall talk with thee. Amen. Hallelujah. This word that I hold in my hand, this is the word of God. It will talk with us. It will lead us. It will guide us. But we need a fresh awakening to the word of God again. We need the word of God to be in our hearts. The psalm of David said it very plainly. He said, Thy word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And I believe that's where we are. We need to understand, amen, that this word is a fresh awakening to the church again. The word of God will lead us and talk with us and will guide us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray God in closing this evening. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26 is this. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. It is the word of God. We need the awakening of the word of God in our lives again. That we can walk 
in the Word of God, and the Word of God can come alive in our hearts, uh, and the Word of God, amen, can flow out from us, amen, hallelujah. In verse 27 uh, says this, that he might present to himself a glorious church, amen, hallelujah, not having spot or wrinkle, nor any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Amen. Hallelujah. So I encourage you, uh, when you listen to this video, amen, look to the Word of God. Get into the Word of God. Let it become a fresh and awakening to you. And the Word of God will not lie. The Word of God will lead you into all truth. And you will be prosperous in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you again today that we can once again bring forth the word of the living God. And we pray today that something that is said here in the word of God will touch some heart, will lead someone into the fold of God. We pray for those today, Lord, that what's new you and what's walked and have walked away from you. We pray, Lord, that the spirit of the living God will grip them again, will draw them back to you. And that day too will come back home and call upon the name of Jesus and their names will be written in the Lamb's book of life. For those, Lord, that have never bowed a knee before you, we pray today that uh, something that is said, uh, that they might realize that they need to call upon you, uh, to invite you into their lives. Uh, now let their names be written upon the Lamb's book of life. Uh, let them realize today, Lord, uh, they would be just in time. Uh, because, Lord, we realize today that you're coming back. Uh, and, Lord, we pray for each one that will listen to this today. We pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will touch them, minister unto them, and draw them closer unto you. Now we give you all the praise today and all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.